بسم الله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته and welcome to Amazed by the Quran a series in which I like to share with you what I find amazing about the Quran today I want to talk to you about two prophets and their unique manners these two prophets are Ibrahim and Musa عليهم السلام as described in a very subtle way in Surah Al-Shu'ara Surah Al-Shu'ara is Surah number 26 of the Quran so let me first tell you some things about the Surah and how it's laid out um, this surah is actually made up of, it, it dedicates quite a bit of its space to the narrative between Musa alayhi salam and Fir'aun first, Moses and Pharaoh, the debate between the two of them. And then it switches over and talks exhaustively about different prophets and how what they had to tell their people was identical. So the, the passages in the surah actually repeat themselves quite a bit. So one of the things that the prophets keep saying to their people is, وَمَا أَسْأَلُكُمْ عَلَيْهِ مِنْ أَجْرِ I'm not asking you you know, for any compensation for what I'm, I'm telling you. I'm not looking to get paid by you for preaching you to the, this message to you. In ajri illa ala Allah, or in ajri illa ala Allah, my compensation is only, I'm only relying, uh, uh, you know, for it on Allah. I only depend on Allah for that compensation. Rabbil Alameen, the master of, or ala Rabbil Alameen, the master of all the peoples, of all the, all the nations. In other words, these prophets are keeps, they continuously say, I'm not asking you for money. I'm not asking you for money. I'm not asking you for money. So this is repeated on the tongue of Nuh, Saleh, Shu'aib, etc., etc. They keep saying the same thing over and over again. But you find, even though that's so consistent, the two prophets that don't say this. So you have, وَتْلُوا عَلَيْهِمْ نَبَأَ Ibrahim. You know, recite on to them, read on to them the news of Ibrahim. If قَالَ لِقَوْمِهِ You know, لِأَبِيهِ وَقَوْمِهِ مَا تَعْبُدُونَ When he said to his father and his people, what are you worshipping? So he didn't say, I'm not asking you for compensation, like everybody else. And, so the, and the other prophet you don't find saying this in the surah, that everything else is so consistent in, is Musa. Which is awesome, because Ibrahim alayhi salam is going to be preaching to his dad. And his dad raised him. And his dad spent money on him. So it's really rude and obnoxious to say, I'm not asking you for money. Well, you already have. I've already raised you. I've already, you've already lived under this house. Every night that you go to sleep under this, in, uh, under this roof is me spending money on you. So he understands that his father has actually made sacrifices, financial sacrifices for him. So he's not going to bring that up like all the other prophets did. He, you know, this is part of his mannerism. You know, we're, we're learning that there's, there's, yes, the message of all prophets is the same, but there's sensitivities. And there's, you have to acknowledge the good, even a disbeliever is that his father builds idols. His father builds idols. But he's not going to say to him, I don't need your money. He's not, gonna, he's not gonna talk to him like that. That's hurtful. That'll help you understand why even Musa wouldn't speak like that to Fir'aun. He's not going to come back after years, receive revelation up on a mountain, come back storming into the castle and say, I'm not asking you for money. Why not? Because he was raised there. He lived there his whole youth. <laughs> He was taken care of and his mom was taken care of. As a matter of fact, he says, that is in fact a favor that you've done for me. He acknowledges the favor. The point here, first of all, is to highlight the subtlety and the craft with which the message of Islam is to be delivered on the one hand. But on the other hand, for believers in general, the amazing lesson being, being taught here is just because you're preaching even the worst enemy of Islam, I mean, these are two of the worst, right? I mean, th this, this person is in charge of building idols for his, you know, his people. And then, I mean, I don't have to describe to you how epic the evil of Fir'aun is. And yet, in both of their cases, if there's a good to be acknowledged, or if something should, shouldn't be said because it's just not right, your anger towards them shouldn't get you to say it. And the, the, the strength with which you want to deliver the message to them shouldn't get you to just say something about them or something to them that just, it's not befitting, subhanAllah. Our manners are timeless. The message is timeless, but the manners that with which the message is to be delivered is also timeless. We can never compromise it. You get, don't get overzealous in trying to get a point across and say things you're going to regret, especially to loved ones, especially to family. That's when, that's when our, kind of our, our filter goes off, right? It's, it's easy to get frustrated with family and say things that you would never say to anybody else. Never say to anybody else. And that's why you have to be extra sensitive when you talk to your family. May Allah Azza give us the wisdom of these remarkable prophets and help us share the message of this beautiful deen with loved ones in a way that will make them love our manners before they even love the message we have to share. Barakallahu li wa lakum. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. If you enjoyed this video, please do share it with friends and family. If you want to see more videos from this series, click on the box at the top. If you want to see other videos, click on the box at the bottom. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Thanks.